Um, we just spent a little bit, missed a little bit of Zelda and like Pokemon and Splatoon update, and, but I'll talk about that later. And, and we're here now. So, Every day we see a variety of new levels from tricky obstacle courses. Yeah, this is the Nintendo Direct. And I'm talking more about uh, stuff we missed later. Striking so. courses as well. I'm just gonna let it sit and wait. It's amazing to see, but with so many to choose from, some players are finding it difficult to pick which courses they want to play. So, we've oh. decided to release a new portal site that you can access. Okay, on sweet. The it will That's offer cool. a more robust search function than the one found in game. This portal site will let you search yeah. for particular types of courses. Yeah, yeah, because I hated that you just smartphone. couldn't do much. You so that's really them helpful. Using prefix tags that's cool. For things like I full bet. auto, sound based, or time attack levels. If you're out and about that's and find cool. an interesting course, you that's can really register good. it as one of your favorites. Then go home and find it flagged for you to play in Super Mario Maker. That's cool. I really Basically, like that. Actually, lets you find the right courses faster, so you can have more fun. It's planned for December, so stay tuned for more details okay. in the coming weeks. Next, let's check in on some new Wii U games that are right around the corner. Oh, here we go. Fans know that every day in Animal yeah, they Crossing talked about... is a roll of the dice. Oh, I don't care about this. I'm going to talk over it. Uh, Twilight Princess HD was officially no announced, and it's cool. All I really had to say was that the Amiibo was really cool. Where each move you make on the board is a new uh, Then they started the dice, talking about a little bit on kinds of Tarvis Heroes, the map have a new update. At the end of and the then month, Pokemon the Super, with the most uh, dun Super Mystery Dungeon. They announced the game that launches before, initially not announced, but part of a they have it coming out soon. Two amiibo figures, and then Isabel and Digby. What else did I miss? You can only get these figures at launch oh, yeah, in the bundle. Oh yeah, and then this Digby will only update. be in the bundle while That's supplies it. last. But other compatible amiibo figures will also be available at launch, with more on the way after that. The cool part is any figure you tap will transport the character into the game world, Wait, so you can play as them. Oh, there's a little the game board now. Amiibo that's kind of cool. Can also so it's, so it's going to be like a... There's a neat okay, one so it's going to be like Desert a Mario Island Party. Escape that lets you if use these cards games. to select cool. three villagers to cast off to an island. The goal is to locate materials to build a raft, as well as hmm. food and resources to keep you alive until it's ready. Hmm. With multiple maps to play on, characters that have unique strengths and weaknesses, and enemies that get in your way, Things oh yeah, in Splatoon they had new maps and in a good things, and I think Splatoon, the game also Splatoon has maps are coming an out like next week or something. You can play with your friends. Here, try one out. Quiz. What's my catchphrase? Uh, I actually don't know. Some Let's questions can get pretty tough, but hardcore Animal Crossing fans may just stand a chance. So, not me. The bundle featuring Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival and the Isabel and Digby Amiibo figures will release November 13th alongside the Amiibo you see on the screen. Okay, Next cool. up, Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. Okay, the latest this Mario game looks Tennis nice. Game, players and I play tennis, so that's kind of cool. Doubles matches as Mario series I don't think if I'll get this game. Now players can perform a new move. Never been a fan shot, of Mario sports games except for like Super Sluggers and ports, uh, Strikers. Adding another layer of strategy to each good. match. I don't know. If you're able to knock your opponent off balance, a smash point will appear on the court. Use the jump shot from there to bust out a powerful Ultra Smash. In Mega Battle mode, Toad stands by the court, tossing in Mega Mushrooms. <laughs> I don't like that. I, I wouldn't giant. like this form. The game also offers Simple Mode, which lets you turn off things like Mega Mushrooms yes. so you can enjoy a more traditional game of tennis. Yeah, that's this how I play. This title offers up to four player local multiplayer, I like the as characters. well as online multiplayer, the so you can meet cool. up at the court with nice. anyone around the world in two separate online modes. I'll think about getting you this game. You can play standard, I'll see. simple, or mega bucks battle matches much in ranked me, mode or in casual. They even have the fairy. They have the fairy Mario from Ultra Smash Mario is also compatible Wii or Amiibo. 3D World. In the single player mode, Knockout Challenge, players can tap an Amiibo I figure like to team too. up with that character. The more you win, the more powerful your next opponent will be. It's kind of cool. Luckily, your amiibo partner like will have your back. After the match, tap your amiibo again to save the character's play experience and even change oh, your Oh, cool! So it's kind of like Smash Bros. This is actually getting a little cool. I kind of like this. Have your them amiibo focus getting on stronger, kind of like in Smash Bros. So you train them. You name it. I like this that. amiibo player can be used as a partner in online doubles matches as well. So Sweet. team up and challenge rivals from around the oh, world. That's cool. I like together. that. I like that. Mario Tennis Ultra Smash is arriving on November 20th, 2015. Okay, that's only in 22 days, just over a week away. I'll Earth think about will it. Be no more. On December 4th, humanity oh. will come face to face with its greatest X? trial yet. 
Maybe? No, Star Fox here or Star Fox Zero? Okay, no, never mind. Okay, sweet. Uh, December 4th. I'm kind of trying to keep myself spoiler-free, so this is kind of spoilers and stuff, but that's okay. The game's coming out soon, and it's going to be fun. ...deep immersion of Western RPGs with the stylish visuals and action-packed combat of Japanese... Oh, this game looks so nice! ...anyone looking to embark on an immense journey should be interested in this... Looks like it's getting a little too... Metroid fans, like, I'm looking at you. Mechanized. For those of you purchasing a physical version of like the game, Call of Duty, there are but, four free eh. high speed data loading packs you can start downloading today that will hey, really? speed up loading times for you. It's kind of cool, required, to be honest. But they will greatly improve your gameplay experience. It's kind of cool. We recommend you download at least the basic pack. But that's a Which reminds lot me, you can also of... go to the Nintendo eShop today to pre purchase a lot of space. and preload. I might get like a digital version 20 freaking gigabyte. Like, this version SD doesn't card. require the data packs because they are built into the digital version. Cool. The holidays are fast approaching, so in the remaining days, prepare for your journey across the stars and out to planet Mira by checking out our video series, Xenoblade Chronicles X Survival Guide. Oh really? I didn't even know on our YouTube thing. channel. Cool. Xenoblade Chronicles X is arriving on December. I might download that game if let's switch things up by taking can, a look at some Nintendo eShop so exclusive cool. digital offerings. Cool. First up is a Nintendo Let's 3DS see. title that was released on the eShop a couple of days ago. Nintendo Badge Arcade is a new free to start okay. game available exclusively on the Nintendo eShop for Nintendo 3DS. It's a fun crane machine game that earns you Nintendo badges which you can use to customize your Nintendo 3DS home menu like never before. The best Sweet. part? Okay. It's free to start. When you first download the game, it, you get five free chances to play with the badge catcher. Then, you can head to the practice catcher, giving you five chances to test your skills per day. Or, you can purchase additional paid plays from the Nintendo eShop so you can get those badges and decorate your home menu. Sweet. Okay, that's kind of cool. Because then you don't have As to purchases, buy the stuff, to get some like the background themes. stuff. That's kind of cool. I like that. Make sure to check back frequently. I'll think about the game that. is constantly like that. being updated with new badges so to collect. And some of these are not to be missed. Ooh, I like that one. It's time to get a clue and catch Pokemon all at the same time. <gasps> Pokemon Picross is uh, downloadable. Show me Pokemon Z! Easy to pick up show me Pokemon Z! Down. During gameplay, there are horizontal and vertical rows of How is this Pokemon? Because there's a Pokeball in the top right corner? Row, if that's it, then... Okay, whatever. Slowly, you'll begin to reveal a Pokemon picture. Okay, never mind. It, it's kind of Pokemon. It's Add just Pokemon, Pokemon shapes. Pokemon to your party, and you can use its support skill while you play. Okay, so kind of like Pokemon Shuffle in a way. You in the game, which can be used to solve puzzles more effectively. You can if it's another free game, that's cool. On the Nintendo I like that. E with more than 300 stages and every Mega Evolve Pokemon, along with legendary and mythical Pokemon, there are tons of reasons to take a break from your job or studies to solve a puzzle or two. The free-to-start game Pokemon Picross will cool. launch in early December exclusively in the Nintendo eShop for Nintendo for free? 3DS. For free? Okay, there are some great Nindies not. titles on the way, just in time for the holiday <sighs> season. Let's see what's up. SteamWorld Heist is a side-scrolling turn-based strategy shooter that's all about boarding, I loading, love and shooting through enemy RPGs. Spaces. Also, you can upgrade your ragtag crew of steam-powered robots with unique abilities, weapons, so, like, and even stylish hats. What's the name of the game? It's all about Project skill. Steam? Aim the gun right. and even bounce bullets off of walls. For a limited time, that's kinda cool. an exclusive Nintendo 3DS home menu theme will come with every purchase of SteamWorld Heist after the game launches on the Nintendo eShop that's this holiday. Kind of cool. It's almost here. I kind of like With that. With non-stop adrenaline pumping action at 60 frames per second, Fast Racing Neo may just be the fastest racing game you've ever experienced. Try to master the phase switching gameplay to reach hypersonic speed in a sizable single player campaign. Or race seven other players online and face off with friends in local four player okay. split screen. If you unlock hero mode, there's a whole new set of rules and challenges to face. The big race is fast approaching. Typo Man is a puzzling platformer that tells a dark tale of heroes and Typo monsters, Man. where words can be. Looks like 
or a curse. What's the name of the Using game? Using the power of like Wordcraft, it's, um... use letters to create or change words that will literally bend the world to your will. It's a great use of the Wii U gamepad That's and cool. an intriguing experience you shouldn't pass up. To see more games like these, check out the Nintendo eShop frequently throughout the rest of the year. Okay. What the heck? What is that? Well. Yo. Yum. What just happened? What is life? What is life? Is this... Hey, what is it? Um... Um... Team, we're gonna be powering through some meetings all day today, <laughs> but to keep us going, I got us some snacks. Bill! 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 Oh! <laughs> Alright, that was a real burp. Hungramps. Hey, oh, it's Yokai. Watch. Yeah, I'm not gonna get this game. Sam. Or got this game. Stay tuned, the coming beast. See the conclusion to Bill and <laughs> Okay. Bill okay. may have gotten a little carried away with those donuts, but not with our games. Yes, mm -hmm. the end of the year is fast approaching, but 2015, we're not done with you yet. In recent weeks, we've seen great titles like Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes. Oh, that was good. <laughs> and Yokai Watch launch on Nintendo 3DS. That's a game it's I a great could time get to behind. Be a Nintendo 3DS it's an RPG. Launch. And with Yoshi's Woolly World launching I last month. Get that game. And games on the way like Mario Tennis Ultra Smash, mm -hmm. Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival, Devil's See, Third, what the heck? Xenoblade yeah, Chronicles X. Wii U has something for Never everyone leading us into the holidays. If you're still waiting to jump in or looking for a great gift this season, keep an eye out for a new Wii U bundle this holiday, featuring not just Super Smash Brothers for Wii U, Same. but also the surprise hit of the year, Splatoon. Also, be on the that lookout for some great year, deals on the original Nintendo 3DS XL system. I thought it was, if I guess either it was of those strikes your fancy, be ready come Black Friday. And after the holidays, a new batch of Amiibo will arrive. Here's a look at what to expect in January. Oh, that's gonna make Skyspire happy. Now, this, uh, let's look back Amiibo. over to Bill for a look at games coming Bill. in early 2016. Yo, yo. 2016, Anything new? here please, we come. Please, Get just your game face on for Pokken Tournament and all new Pokemon fighting games. Oh, I'm so excited! Pokken Tournament is a new game LP for sure. collaboration between oh, the Pokemon so Company and Bandai Namco Entertainment. Oh. Yo. Producers of Tech Gen, I'm gonna make a this a series. fighting series celebrating its 20th oh, anniversary so this year. One token. Thanks to this one, dream token. development tag team, me, you can now me, see Pokemon me, characters me, brought me, to life in a way you've never seen before. With the push of a button, you can instantly unleash the full power of your Pokemon in all of its glory. That's gonna be so cool. Oh, I cannot wait. Oh, another trailer? Oh yeah, this is the Dark Me Too or whatnot. I don't remember what they called it, but he looks cool, that's for sure. With the yellow. The orange, I guess. Looks really cool. And I guess that was its trainer. The hooded person. Looks pretty legit. Then it kind of looks like Mewtwo X, but I don't think it is quite Mewtwo X. I like how it's kind of like the soul of the person fighting, too. It looks like Mewtwo X, but it's also not. Because it's yellow, and it has different shapes. They can call it. I don't remember what they called it, or if they have called it something yet. As a bonus, an amiibo card that unlocks Shadow Mewtwo, oh, Shadow Mewtwo. will be offered in the first production. That looks so cool. Like that's the coolest Shadow Mewtwo, Mewtwo form I've seen. can only be unlocked in the game after you fulfill certain conditions. But when you scan okay. the Shadow Mewtwo amiibo card on the gamepad, it's just you can an amiibo start card. Using Shadow Mewtwo why is right that? Away. Why is that not an actual amiibo Pokemon though? Tournament like actually, that's a jig. Spring of 2016. Spring. Ooh, baby. In our Legit. next game, the sky is not the limit. <laughs> Yeah, now this music. Let's 
Falco Lombardi. Got Slippy! Is that who's gonna be in there? No, Peppy. I like Peppy. I like what he looks like. It's legit. We getting Slippy because he's gonna getting almost getting hit by everything? Or not. Or just completely ignores Slippy. Oh no, there he is. They're acting like he's the second most important being second to last revealed. Slippy's an, Slippy's an idiot. Was that a Rob? Was that a Rob? And then we got... Where is he? Where's the man? The man with the plan. The head of the crew up there. Fox McCloud. Yeah. This is gonna be a fun game. I played a ton of Star Fox 64. I didn't really play any of the other ones, but Star Fox 64 was like my life. Not my life, but whenever I like first got a 64 back in like 2009 or something, I played Star Fox, uh, Star Fox 64 a lot. And then I got Once it on again, the Wii. Mercenary Fox, Falco, Slippy, and Peppy right, must unite as Team Star Fox this is gonna be fun. and board their R wings to save the galaxy. Vehicles are so critical to It the really game, feels a lot like 64. That's cool. The Star Fox team. Let's start by taking a look at the series famous fighter jet, Fox's main machine, the, the R-Wing. I like how it switches between a lot it's of them. It's extremely high level of maneuverability, makes barrel rolls and somersaults a breeze. And now, the R-Wing can transform into oh. its new two-legged walker form Yo. to pick off ground. It's literally just called walker. I think it looks like a freaking stupid chicken. That's, I just, I'm not, not a huge fan of it. The Landmaster tank Landmaster! With slight mid-air Personally, I prefer the air. You can lock on to three different targets simultaneously and inflict That's cool. I love the Landmaster. I think it it's legit. You can also transform into a new flying form. The Graf I think that's also cool. To the Graf Master. Last but not least, the, the Gyro wing. wing. Okay. That it's one doesn't, especially yeah, that one useful doesn't in self situations when it's important to sneak into enemy territory. When the so coast there's five is safe, different drop in the helper robot, direct eye. Hack into <laughs> the That little looks like Rob. Yo. That's Rob. It's Rob. When piloting it's Rob. these machines, the player has two screens at their disposal. The TV screen and the gamepad. I like that, it looks nice. While the TV screen displays nice. the craft the player is currently controlling, the gamepad screen will display a cockpit. That's, I like that too. I like that too. Like a real pilot, the player will have to track is not nice, only what's in front of them, nice but so all far. around. Not really learning much, but it is nice. Tilting the gamepad even allows you to aim and shoot in a different direction than you're flying. Yeah, that's cool too. I like that. Master the controls to destroy your enemies gracefully and go for a high score. Gracefully. More like he literally just ran into it and got ex and exploded. How gracefully. The launch date for this title was oh. delayed. But now we have a new launch date Yo. ready to announce. Yo. Star Fox Yo. Zero will be released uh -huh. on April 22nd, Dude, 2016. that's close to my birthday, bruh. Now, let's bruh. jump right back into the Nintendo Mario. 3DS, Is that what the to latest say? installment of the Mario & Luigi series. Oh yeah, or, Paper Jam. Uh, the Paper, Paper Mario Jam. series. Or both, I, I guess. I see what you're doing, I see what you're doing. I'll Mario probably get this game, team up play it casually. Paper Mario. Casually. Casually. No, let's play this game. As you might expect, no. Paper Mario can do some pretty cool paper tricks thanks to his svelte paper body. He can sneak through narrow cracks, turn into a paper airplane to haul around his corporeal counterparts, copy himself to attack enemies, and so on. There's plenty of three bro co-op action too, from trio actions to trio attacks. Oh, I wish this was. Epic if this was a. Battles? If this was well, actually like a multiplayer game, this Mario would be Luigi amazing. Mario Luigi RPGs battles typically consist of a lot of jumping and It would never be a. Whack. It would never be a. This time though, game, a new element really called Battle Card has also been added. Okay, cool. So you can like Battle cards have cards various and, effects. Oh, well, they you can say power up me. attacks, damage enemies. Increase your coin haul, or even lower your foes. That's cool, actually. Level. I like I like the coin haul. Using thing. amiibo, you can create a corresponding character card in the game. Yo! Character cards have more powerful effects than the battle cards. Here are the Yo. six amiibo that are compatible with the game. You may notice that some of the card designs are based on past <laughs> Mario games, like Super Mario Brothers and Mario Kart. The Mario Party ones. If you're like me, you'll have to have them all. <laughs> Mario and Luigi Paper Jam will be released on January 22nd, 2016. I wonder if there's going to be a, like a cooldown time. Up next, a new game for Nintendo Probably. 3DS. Final Fantasy Explorers from Square Enix. What? Prepare to explore an island filled with mystical crystals in the first Final Fantasy action RPG on Nintendo 3DS. 
With the job system, characters can learn over 20 adventuring professions, each with their own set of special skills. Plus, they can learn and switch between every job class, class transfer certain skills between classes, and rename spells but and abilities. In fact, Bowser Breach, is that what that said? Options. You can even mix and match pieces of armor and classic Final Fantasy character outfits. Yeah. Yep. You can uh -huh. dress like beloved Final Fantasy characters, and by using the trance ability, uh, you can even fight as them, too. Tifa Lockhart? I'm no, talking no. heroes like know. Cecil, Terra, Lightning, and more. <laughs> and more! Not Cloud Strife, not the most important. We're not unlocking I'm not gonna say that. Attacks. Final Fantasy Explorers can be played and beaten solo, uh, but it's quite the challenge, so you may want to adventure with friends. Oh, uh, okay. Four players can connect via local or Wi-Fi multiplayer. More worth it now. MMO style, assigning allies. You can put me on board on just about any game if you can make it where you can play with damage. multiple friends online. If you don't have enough people to fill your party, this you fun. can use trained monsters to fill up the party slots. When Final Fantasy Explorers releases in the American If I have people that would get the game, I'd then get the game. include all of the DLC that was released in Japan for free. Sweet. This DLC includes special outfits and weapons and challenging content featuring notorious Final Fantasy series bosses. With over nice. 100 quests and hours of gameplay, adventurers will be busy when Final Fantasy Explorers is released on January 26th. A collector's Change. edition will okay. also be available. Yo, that's it cool looking. The game, it's a lot. 20 track CD sample, I like that DS case. Nintendo 3DS hard case. That's a cool and case. Looking. Exclusive That's a quests cool looking that case. unlock legendary Final Fantasy weapons. How much is that going to cost? That's like 60. No, it's going to be more. It might be. That might be up to 80 dollars. Another RPG is on its way to Nintendo 3DS, mm -hmm. and it isn't just another RPG. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about oh! for Nintendo 3DS. I'm it so excited. So excited. Memorable characters and complex oh. storylines the series is I'm already for, I'm already getting also goosebumps I'm shivering each right of now. These oh. areas. Fans have been dying to know their options for getting their hands on the game. I want it now. I want it now. I want it now. You can start by purchasing I'm getting both. Of the two no, I'm getting games. both. Fire Emblem Birthlight and Birthright, Conquest. I'm getting both. $80. I don't Conquest. care. Give me both. Either at retail locations or via download. Either let's on play one and just play through the other. They're each a complete uh, story. Yeah, that's what I do. Game, but playing both will show you two different sides of one brutal conflict. If you buy one game, you can get the other as a download for a reduced cost. And while it won't be available Yo! on launch day, there will also $60. be a third That's story not path available That's not as bad. an in-game download That's not bad. for Birthright or Conquest owners called Fire Emblem Fates Revelation. It will reveal I'm guessing another $20. About the story that will affect the way you think about the other paths. Then it'll be $80. It's as revealing as the name implies, so you'll probably want to save that one for last. Yeah, I'll play. My treehouse friends are pretty hooked on these games already. I'll probably so let's play one of them, just play through the other like one, them. and then you just have to have it all, and then play the last one because Fire Emblem Fates Special Edition. It includes all getting three that. games: I'm getting that. I'm getting that. I'm getting that. I'm Conquest getting that. and Revelation, plus an art book and a Nintendo 3DS XL pouch. Fire Emblem I don't have an Fates XL, but was that it? 19, I thought I thought I saw a scroll. I thought I saw a Fire Emblem Fates scroll. Even more Fire Emblem Fates DLC will be available down the road. Oh, okay, I'm getting one that. One new map will be released for free. I'm, I'm getting the eight dollar one. Not even, six new no. maps will be available. You can purchase them individually, I'm, or starting today at select retailers, you can purchase all of them together for a reduced price as Map Pack One. Yeah, I'm getting is, that. Which path all of that. You take? All of that. I want Earthright, all of it. Conquest, or all three. All three. All the three. Is yours, all three. No, the no, gameplay. not even a. Let us know which path you choose. I don't care. Section. That's worth. So Next worth it. Next up is Mega Man Legacy so Collection from Capcom, a celebration of the 8-bit roots of Capcom's iconic Blue Bomber. Power up with dozens of cool weapons in the series and take on the evil genius Dr. Wily and his army of okay. robots gone haywire Not in bad. this collection of the first six Not action bad. platformers Not that bad. started it all. The new museum mode contains a comprehensive collection of production art. I mean, and I'm not a huge fan of Mega Man, but. Plus more hey, than 100 cool. Nintendo 3DS exclusive items. A mega treat for any fan. Just show us something new. Smash Bros. Ballot, Pokemon Z. I just want something. <laughs> with the new challenge mode. This oh. mode features more than 50 stages of remix gameplay areas from all Like six something games, we, I, we, no one even knows. Like no one knows. I want something like that. That no one knows anything about. That's what I want. That's what I want. 
Speaking of challenge mode, we saved some special news for last. The game comes with 11 Nintendo 3DS exclusive challenges that can be unlocked using the Mega Man Amiibo. Don't have it. But that's Lol. not the only Amiibo that can unlock these new challenges. You can also use this brand new gold colored Mega Man Amiibo. Oh, not this again. Exclusively in the Mega Man Legacy Oh, uh, we don't want this edition. thing again. The like Mega Mario, Man Legacy Collection will be available uh, for Nintendo again, 3DS was... digitally via the Nintendo eShop. Please, and both no. the standard and collector's edition versions will be available at retail on February Please, 23rd, no. I 2016. could literally just paint an Amiibo gold. Now let's Please take a look at a this. Pokemon game coming to the <gasps> Nintendo eShop on Nintendo 3DS. Oh, wait, no, just the eShop. EW! I'm not sure what you're expecting, but I doubt it's this. Anyone remember these? <gasps> Yo! That's right. Of course. Pokemon Red version, Pokemon My babies. Blue version, and Pokemon Yellow version will all be released as I'm digital downloads. Get it because on Nintendo 3DS. I can just Whether do you're it reliving on the fond memories from nearly 20 years ago or I making new ones, it, but we've done what we can to preserve I the games we exactly as they were. Except that pesky Game Boy Game Link case. True. That's not going to work on your Nintendo 3DS. True. So a new feature has been added to this version, uh, so you can trade and battle Pokemon cool. like it's 1999. You can use the Nintendo cool. 3DS system's wireless communication feature to battle and trade Pokemon with your friends. Pokemon Red version, okay. Pokemon Blue Not version, worth it. Pokemon Yellow or version will be released cost. on the same day as the original Game Boy Pokemon launch, on February 27th. Not gonna tell someone's cost. Let's return okay. to one of my favorite places, the land of Hyrule. Oh. Oh, Warriors I don't care. Last year. A lot of people. Oh yeah, this is this is what I want to know. If there's an online mo online mode where you can play online with people, it's worth it. If not, it's not worth it. If if you can play online with people, it's worth it. I'll buy it if it's like that. This time, Tetra, Toon Link, Ew. and the King of Hyrule from the Legend of Zelda: The Wind Waker will join the Skull Kid and Majora's Mask oh, yes. on the battlefield. I like Skull Kid. There's an original character too, named Yo. Linkle. Yo. She looks quite familiar. Linkle Yo. is a girl who lives in a small village filled with cuckoos. I like this. She's a dual wielding crossbow who can take Cuckoos. down enemies coming at her from all. I directions. like this. I was actually talking to Skyspire, and he was like, "No, they're not going to get another character." I knew they were. I knew they were. They were going to announce another character. This is cool. She has automatic crossbows. That's legit. It's a legit. famous signature move is called a spin attack. Maybe oh. we should call Winkles a spin kick. Wait, why is it a kick? Why not just shoot in a? Hyrule cool. Warriors Legends will be released oh, on March 25th, 2016. For a limited time, an original Nintendo 3DS home menu theme will also be included. Our RPG lineup continues to strengthen on Nintendo 3DS, including okay. games we haven't touched on today like Bravely Second and Lair coming in Spring 2016. Yeah, There's another series we'd like to discuss today though that Nintendo has been proud to support throughout the years. I'm happy to finally uh, announce uh, that Dragon Quest VII, Fragments of the Forgotten Past, is also coming to Nintendo 3DS in 2016. In this huge RPG, explore the past to uncover the secrets of a much-changed world by collecting stone shards and defeating evil along the way. Cool. This is when I'm getting like, you gotta, it says it's at most 40, or it's around 45 minutes, so I'm guessing the last few minutes I've gotta be on the Smash Ballot. Because Dragon Quest seven, it, fragments it of the ended forgotten like a month ago, they gotta talk summer, about who won. They got to. Am I missing something? Fear not. Dragon Quest Eight. And please, Pokemon Z. Please. Will also please, be released oh, in 2016. So get ready to embark on another epic adventure on your Nintendo 3DS. It's like barely took I know many of new. you have been waiting for these exciting announcements, so thank you for your patience. We've got one more update saved for last, but first, a quick rundown of some Wii U and Nintendo please. 3DS games coming from our development partners. Please say that they talk about Smash Bros. Shoot your way through dangerous alien hives with up to three friends or on your own. Wii U exclusive features what include a super shot? handy gamepad mini-map, plus amiibo okay. support for compatible figures that unlock bonus challenges and treasures. With Kerbal Space Program, <laughs> spacecraft this is a computer game! Stars. Looks like Get an internal view Stanley's Parable. <laughs> tilt it to steer. Then watch your ship soar on your TV. Just don't kill everyone aboard. Oh, oh. 
Okay, it's a... Got in the it. latest side scroller from KG Inafune, shoot and dash through 12 challenging stages so, and dozens of missions like as the hero back. Face off against your cool. eight mighty brethren. He even got the super suit. To unlock new You're kidding me? You can even team up with a friend in the two-player online co-op challenge, or throw down with them in race battle mode. Get ready to play as and unlock more than 100 Marvel characters that have never appeared in a Lego game before. From the superheroes and supervillains of the movies to the Sorry. classic Avengers characters. I like Marvel. DC is awesome, is but I'm like, I don't really care about Lego games. Of classic and current I like. Yo! Oh, oh, I saw Phoenix Wright, that's cool. That's the closest to Phoenix. That's the closest to Phoenix Wright 6 we're getting. This time, Nintendo Trust me. Is joining the fight with Krom that was cool. Krom, Lucina, we had. I like. And Fiora from Xenoblade Chronicles. Yo. Yo. Phoenix Build amazing Wright, Maya, structures the, and craft Maya, weapons and armor, whatever. then wage war on hundreds Aurora. of enemies and giant bosses. Up to four adventurers can play together locally on Wii U or Nintendo 3DS, and on the Wii U version, up to eight okay. players can inhabit your world online. It is your cool. world, after all. Yo, there's a Mario style. I think a Minecraft style. That's Thanks cool. for watching today. We'll leave you with one final update. Smash. I sense a new trailer approaching. Smash. It's Smash. Put one Z, put one Z. It's not Smash, put one Z. Put one Z, put one Z, put one Z. Yo, it's Pokemon Z. I'm, I'm calling it right now. It's Pokemon Z. It's gotta be. Oh, it is Smash! Why would they start it off like that? Oh. Yo. Yo. What the hell? What the, what the hell? What, what do you... Cloud Strife is in Final Fantasy or in is in Smash Bros. Bread. Yo, I'm high. Oh boy, that's legit. Cloud Strife. Str he really won the Smash Bros. Okay. I mean, maybe. Yo, that's cool. That's sick. I'm happy. He has so many quick. Oh, that his air attack seemed legit. Oh, I'm excited for this. Yo! Yo! He feels like a Shulk, kind of. He feels like a quicker Shulk. He feels like a quicker Shulk. That's cool. Yo! Yo! Oh, I can't. I'm hyped. I was already, as I was saying before, I'm not a huge fan of Final Fantasy. But this is sick! I kind of wasn't necessarily wishing it was Cloud Strife out of all the characters he got in, but he seems legit. I'm liking it. She has a great recovery. Jeez, that's a cool. That's a that's a good amount of recovery. That's about Ike's. And there's another costume too. That's a cool costume. Limits are meant to be broken. What? So he gets stronger like Ukario, like once he passes the limit. Yo, yo, yo! Calm down. It's not that serious. That's a cool stage. I can already say that. That that's gonna be competitive. If there's no bet, never mind. Wait. Yeah. Never mind. Never mind. I was gonna say that's competitive, but after all the crap that's happening. Yeah, this is a band stage. Almost, almost. Yo. Dude! Just like the Final Fantasy text, that's cool. That's cool. I see a lot of people saying this this sucks, but like this this whole like thing got ruined or whatnot, but. I still like. I like this. Smells like chocobo. Yo. Oh, you can have a chocobo hat. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. Smash Bros. Special part coming to sim. Yo! Another character. Another character. Another character. Why is everyone saying in the chat melee HD? I don't see them doing that. They could, but I don't see that happening. Or bra there's I don't I don't see any remakes of Smash Bros games happening. Nintendo Minute. Oh. Hi guys, to so so we got another we got another one in December. So it's cool. And I'm Kit, and welcome to the official post show. What a time to be alive! Nintendo Direct, <laughs> the long-awaited return is upon us, and we're going to be breaking it all down with two special guests today. Yeah. So, so we I have guess. Gerard, the completionist. And then we oh. also have the Jaywits. Um, so they're going to come out and well, tell us their reaction I think on the 
latest announcements in the Nintendo Direct, and we're going <laughs> to some games and chat. And like <laughs> what are they doing? Okay, so, so I think, I, I guess that's the end of the Direct. So, here, let me... So that's, that's the end of the Direct, guys. And I hope you guys did enjoy this, because I enjoyed it pretty, pretty well. I'm surprised they didn't have any new games announced, which is what I was fearing. I feel that, like, well, I had a something ready, but I'd never, or almost ready, but I never got to do it. It was a um, predictions thing, and I kind of was predicting that they weren't going to really announce many new things because there's so many things they needed to talk about. Uh, like, And they did talk about a lot of it, and Smash Ballot was one of them. I guess maybe it he wasn't the Smash Bros. character, because I think they talk about that, so maybe they, maybe they're, prob they're probably going to say that, but I'm, I'm just so happy that we finally get a new character, like, I'm so sick of not getting new characters, like, new characters, not returning characters or clones, but a new character, and that makes me really happy, I'm so, like, surprised that they weren't going to do show the Smash Bros. character, but I guess they'll do that in December, and... But, uh, and they didn't announce any new games that were particularly, like, main series Nintendo games. They, they didn't announce Pokemon Z, which was really confusing because it was practically, like, it was practically announced a few months ago. So I'm surprised they didn't even talk about that. But it could always happen, uh, soon, I guess. Gosh, I guess it's gonna be a while till. I was thinking, summer we were we were due for a new game. Maybe next winter, we'll be ready for a new Pokemon game because if they because the next direct's gonna be what in spring, early spring or late winter, so it's gonna be hard for them unless it's like at the very end of summer. But whatever. I mean, I'm excited for what's to come. We're probably gonna have another. Smash Bros. Like we're probably gonna have another update DLC that kind of stuff in December, and I'm guessing once they show the Smash Bros. character, that's going to be the final character because that's kind of like the pinnacle of all. Like that's who everyone wants and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I mean we've gotten lots of like very a little too popular in my opinion characters like Ryu. We got. Like, like, whenever we get new characters, which we've only got two, it's, I believe, yeah, Ryu and Cloud, which Cloud's just in Final Fantasy, which barely even feels like a Nintendo series anymore, because, I don't know, I've, I've never been a huge fan of it, and it felt like it was kind of always, like, just outside of the, outside of the, the group, but, and then, obviously, Ryu's not even Nintendo, so, yeah. But, this is cool. I'm gonna stop rambling on and just say we're gonna end this video with Gerard in the background. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like for Cloud if you did like. Or no, leave a like for just the Nintendo Direct. Comment what you think about Cloud Strive being a character and subscribe for Mo Po I'm so used to doing Pokemon and outros. What am I even talking about? What I meant to say is subscribe for more Nintendo things and oh yeah, that was the um that was the um, amiibo I wanted to talk about, or that I saw, and I was like, that's cool! So yeah, uh, we're just going to end, and yeah, you guys can you guys can go look it up, or check it out, and I will talk more about it in maybe another video. And this is Killer Pig, and I'm signing out.